Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be unpacking and taking a closer look at the laptop from Chewy, which is called CoreBook Pro. Um, so, first of all, let me talk about what you're going to get in the package. So you're going to find a laptop itself. Uh, you'll find a charging, charging cable like that, massive brick. So that's going to be in the pack. You'll also find a um, manual uh, and warranty card. And as a little present, they send you out one of those carry bags for your laptop. Um, the overall price at the minute is 399 US dollars and this is the latest and greatest from Chewy. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I wanna to, I'd like to warn you, this is not a usual uh, review so I'm not going to be talking about the figures of this laptop too much. I'd like to take you directly into this machine and I, I'd like to show you what this machine is capable of and whether it managed to uh, live up to my expectations since I purchased it. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna boot it from fresh. So like from, you're just gonna see, you're gonna see how long it takes for it to boot. That's what I'm trying to say. So as you can see, it's booting right now loading right now I'd rather say that's it that's it so it took literally less than 30 seconds and we are in and we're ready to work there is nothing else that's going to be preloading at the minute it, it's all it's all preloaded it's all ready for you to go before I purchased this laptop I've searched high and low and I've looked through a number of reviews on YouTube and the thing that I've managed to find is that most of the reviewers they don't look deep into how the actual machine or laptop or computer will work with certain apps and apps that are crucial for me were Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, Fruity Loops and some of the games. So first of all, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to Adobe Premiere. So I'm going to load it now and whilst I'm talking you can see that the program is loading. This is Adobe Premiere 2020 uh, and we're going to load it up. I've got a little uh, little project saved up already so you can basically see how long it takes for the project to load and uh, whether there is a stutter whether there is you know delay in um, whilst you're going to be working with um, videos i have to mention i'm working with a mouse i've got a xiaomi mouse which i'm going to be talking about in the, in the next videos as well so as you can see our project has loaded and we're just going to rewind it back and for some of you who's got a slower computers or had the slower computers in the past and tried using Adobe Premiere, you would probably know that by the time you load the project, this little video here usually freezes up quite a lot and is really unusable. As you can see in here, everything works just fine. Video, video is smooth as it should be. It's easy to um, control all of the options. I can I can open anything that I want and the video is going to continue going. So Adobe Premiere 2020, which is quite a heavy program for most of the computers, works really, really well on Chewy um, CoreBook Pro. So I'm going to shut that down. Uh, and now what we'll do is we'll go to Photoshop. This is also 2020 Photoshop. So I'm just going to open it up. Once again, I'm giving you a chance to see in real life, uh, like sort of in a real sort of lifetime stream, how the program loads, how long it takes. I mean, in my opinion, it's, it's very comfortable. It really doesn't take that much. I mean, it's not an instant load, but it's a consistent load. Uh, so now that we've loaded uh, our Photoshop, let's just go ahead and open a picture. It'll take a second and the picture is going to load. And there you are. So everything is ready to go. You can manipulate the picture the way you want. It's, it's all working just fine. So Adobe Premiere and Photoshop work just fine. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll go to FL Studio. So that's your music production program. Um, it's not a professional music production program, but it's um, it's quite a heavy program as well uh, and most of the computers would not really run it as easily as you've seen just now it loaded really quickly so what we'll do now is i'll scroll down um these are the sort of uh, pre-installed um tracks uh, that other producers made and they sort of made it available on in the fruity loops so you can actually um 
loaded and you can see how it's been done so this particular track has got vocals as well so just gonna wait for it to load so that's all loaded so in here just in case if you're not familiar all of these are either vocals synthesizers or drums or you know you name it so all of your musical instruments are here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit play and first of all so to explain we've got all of those musical instruments playing spontaneously and they all sort of running along so it, it takes a lot of uh, memory from the laptop to actually to run those instruments and this is a good chance for you to listen to how loud this laptop can get so I'll go to 100% I mean, there's no bass, there's definitely no bass in these speakers, but it does get loud. Um, the next thing we'll do is we'll quickly jump into one of the files and we'll gonna open up a video so you can see how the video works. So this is an American Pickle movie. If you haven't seen it, uh, do it. It's, it's, a, it's a fun movie to watch. No one would want your boot pops because it's a terrible idea. So have other idea. We start. GPS. Really comfortable. I mean, it loads it up. We we really we thoroughly enjoyed this laptop so far. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preload se several games for you to see. Um, first of all, let's load Minecraft. That's the most popular Minecraft of, and Roblox. Those are the games that are played um, by most of the people around the world. I mean, kids, teenagers, and um, older generations sometimes. <laughs> For the split second right at the beginning you've got those little um stuttering effect but now now it works just fine and it's going to continue doing so for the rest of the gaming as well so it just takes a bit of patience it takes like 10 15 seconds for the game to preload and then you can you can play it comfortably my son is absolutely in love with this game well actually no he prefers roblox now but he used to love minecraft so yeah that's what it is let's quit this game uh, and I'll show you another example, which is Race Driver Grid. That's probably my favorite game of all the times. I'm not I'm not a heavy gamer. I don't play every single day, but there's just times when you just want to unwind and relax. And I don't do I don't do drinking really. I don't do whatever. I just prefer to spend time with my family. And on a very rare occasion where I really really had enough of the day, I just just want to sort of sit down and. Um, have a quick um, unwinding session I'll probably just do something like that so I'll just go into greed and that once again that gives you a good example of how long the game takes to load please ignore Russian weird <laughs> letters concentrate more on the graphics and how fluent it is and what sort of gaming experience you should expect if you had this laptop I think it's quite cool. So um, titles like um, Greed or Need for Speed, um, Underground and things like that will work just fine and you can have you know, hours and hours of fun. And the beauty of this laptop as well, um, most of these games are not really that hard for it, so it doesn't actually, doesn't actually heat up as much. Um, yeah, I'm a bit, a bit disoriented at the minute, so... <laughs> Excuse my terrible driving. So what we'll do is we'll shut this game uh, And finally what we'll do is we are gonna try one of my favorite titles, which is hang on no, Which is Call of Duty 2 a um, very old game, but when I was a teenager hours and hours and hours was spent on this game and On this laptop it works like a dream. It honestly does on the very highest settings everything you can you can possibly think of just just turn turned on uh, and then you go into a game and it's, it's a really comfortable experience there you go it's just a cool game to play I think it's, it's one of those games you know it the games back in the day were really really simple like I mean so simple it's, it's unbelievable but 
so enjoyable at the same time. Hey, you gotta have a grenade, why not? That's it, I'm dead. Anyway, it just, once again, it just gives you a good example of how the game works. Um, so now that you've seen everything basically, and I think it's pretty good, uh, it gives you a pretty good example of how the laptop handles certain tasks. Um, what I'd like to talk about is the, is the negatives, and there's only really one negative point of this laptop, and this is the keyboard. Uh, not the keyboard entirely, no, just the, these, these very top right locations, simply because your delete and backspace buttons are spaced ever so closely to your power button. And that means that whenever you're typing, it's very easy to press the power button. It's not going to turn your laptop off completely, but rather put it in a sleep mode. So if anything you were typing and the laptop turns itself off, you're not going to lose, you're just going to wake it up and everything will be back there. But I think the power button really could have been, you know, could have been moved up here. But that's the only negative. The screen is beautiful, the bezels are slim, um, the keyboard, as far as I understand from all the reviews and every single text I've, re I've read on the internet, is literally been lifted up from MacBook Pro and been transferred into this laptop because when you press those keys, they press, they press lovely. Um, the keyboard is also lit uh, with LED lights. You've got uh, two, well, you've three options. You've got LED off, you've got the first level of LED, or you've got the brightest level of LED. Um, I personally prefer to leave it on the, on the first level. Um, the trackpad is quite good, it's large, um, the buttons are hidden underneath, so you literally, you, you press almost anywhere um, and it works as a button uh, and that's quite good. The hinge is stiff, so the chances of you opening this laptop with one hand are quite slim. You have to be patient, but it's doable, so you can do it. So that's been fixed. I know a lot of people have been complaining about Chewy's products from uh, before, uh, where the hinge uh, design was quite poorly made. Um, and on rare occasions, the hinge fastening would actually uh, rip the plastic off. Um, not the case with this one, everything's been fixed. So now let's talk about the ports. So here's you're gonna have, um, on the left side, you've got your power plug, so that's where your power goes in. This is a USB Type-C, um, not a fully working USB Type-C, only works with a transfer file, so you can't charge your laptop with a USB Type-C. I think it's done for security purposes because if you use the wrong Type-C um, voltage thing, you can burn your laptop easily. On the right side, you've got USB-A third generation, you've got 3.5 millimeter jack hole, and you've got micro SD hole as well. And one of the big, um, advantages of this laptop is from the previous models is active air cooling so inside you've got a fan that cools this laptop rather well you also got the expandable memory there as well if you want to expand it so the process processor of this laptop is intel core i3 so not the greatest and best in the world but it does the job um, the graphics is iris 550 which found in uh, some of the macbooks as well You've got eight gig. Um, you've got eight gig memory. You also got Kingston um, hard drive, which is two five uh, two hundred and fifty six gig, I believe, um, which is more than enough to be honest with you. It's more than enough to use. And uh, I just want to briefly talk about talk about the lack of ports. Um, some people say it's a it's a huge disadvantage. I don't think so. I think it's actually advantage rather than disadvantage, simply because more and more companies are trying to push us in a direction where we're not going to be using wires anymore. So for instance, the mouse that I use, um, and I'm going to be reviewing this mouse later on, um, it's, it's a, it's a um, Xiaomi mouse and it's got a um, Bluetooth module on board. So for instance, if you don't want to use a Bluetooth module, module, you can use one of those dongles, but you don't have to because it just works with the Bluetooth because the laptop has got a Bluetooth module. So I can connect my earbuds, I can connect my mouse, I can connect my printer, I can connect a number of things that can be connected via Bluetooth. And that just makes life a lot easier. So meaning, meaning you have to bring less cables with you and it's just, just I don't know, just overall it's just so much better. So a conclusion, apart from this um, button placement on the keyboard, this is an absolutely lovely laptop to go for. It works really, wait, really great for video editing. It works with Photoshop, it works with FL Studio. 
older generation games will work just fine on this laptop but don't expect 2020 games to run on it it's just not gonna happen it's not the it's not the gaming machine um, the size is very compact um, it's all made out of alumi uh, aluminum so the, the this is a metal ca casing and this is a metal casing everything is really really well made and for 399 US dollars you really can't go wrong and all those people that say that it's not capable of doing this is not capable of doing that it, it, in my opinion is capable of doing absolutely everything so guys i hope this video has been helpful as usual but if i've missed anything by all means don't hesitate comment down below and i'll do my best to answer any of the questions that you've got um and i'll see you guys in the next one